Hello, and welcome back to Resident Evil HD Remaster, where we have just gotten to the save room and we're gonna get going. This probably isn't going to be a fast enough run to get the infinite rocket launch, or whatever rocket launcher they want to give us if we beat it in under three hours. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go decently fast, but my memory isn't perfect, and also... I'm not going to be skipping cutscenes, which is almost required if you want to get the timer. And if you're not playing like someone who has the place memorized. Uh, right, we can't get that map yet. And that is helmet locked. So came in here for no reason, though I could have grabbed some herbs if I felt the need course I didn't. I think zombies that are left alive also eventually become crimson heads, but I'm gonna go ahead and do some juking of zombies anyway. Oh, yeah. Got a little closer than I wanted there. And that is, yeah, that's only from the other side. So we go through here. Not going to worry about healing for a while yet. So now we can go through here and collect a few things that we're going to need. Most importantly, this dog whistle, I do believe. Oh, today Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you've always wanted to get hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us. John Tolman. So, I realize I forgot to put my ink ribbons away. That's potentially a problem it is 100% a problem so let's see here can we just no we can't drop them because that's not a thing this game allows I can use this it's a bit of a waste but we do have more yeah I don't want to come back in here and I don't expect to use all of the uh, healing items available to me. So, shouldn't be a huge deal. So, we're just gonna ignore that guy. He'll go right back to where he came from once we're done down here. Okay, let's put some things away. We're not going to need this chemical for a little while. I think we need the armor key first. Our uh, canteen? Yeah, we should keep it. Just in case we kill someone in a well-traveled area and thus need to burn it for safety's sake. Uh, there's a fuel canteen. We do need to fill our er, uh, kerosene container thing. We, we needed to fill our canteen. Unfortunately, the canteen only gets two uses at once. But if you manage to stack corpses, then you can get some extra efficiency out of it. So. Whoop. It's a lot easier to juke zombies with these controls, but I need to get used to doing it. Oh. 
This will go ahead and turn in... Oh, I should have used the other door. It would have taken longer to go through, but safer because know this guy. But we're fine. And now we can get the map of this part of the mansion. So let's remember that it's the circle button to get into this menu. And then we'll pop that open. Hey, look, it's paper. Whoop. And then we'll use it. And again, we'll remember that it's the circle button to bring up this menu. I'll get it down at some point, people. Okay. Because above that fireplace, there was a design of the map of the mansion, but in reverse. So we burnt it onto the paper. It's a neat little puzzle. Uh, let's not grab that red herb. We're probably going to want it later. Like, say, the next time we come through this particular area, I do believe we're going to really want it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a boss through there, if memory serves. Well, we managed to dodge him pretty easily this time. Of course, later in the game, he'll be replaced by a hunter, regardless of whether or not we kill him and burn his corpse. The armor key for there. Need the helmet key for the other door I skipped. At least I think we do. Again, my memory's not perfect, but it's pretty decent for the ma the mansion section. Oh, hey, hey Barry. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse, no. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right, then. Let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. I so miss the PS1 version of this What about scene. you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Yeah, Barry's original lines were something to the effect of, Look what I found. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Y you can have it. But what about you, Barry? I have this. Then I'll take this, then. Whoop. It was, there was a lot of silly stuff in the original version of the game, is what I'm trying to get at here. Um, okay, where are we going? We are... I, I don't think we can go through here. Okay, no, we can. Okay. We are going to want to make a stop at the other save room along the way. I see you reflected in that mirror, sir. Oh, you were just actually standing in front of the mirror. Um, right, we go through here. Not there. Um, oh, can we just open it from the dining hall? We must be able to. Unless... Yeah, we must be able to. Which means I crossed this guy's path for no reason, but it's okay because he has trouble getting us. Yeah, we're gonna wanna drop off our cans of fizz. Because we don't currently have a way to use them. I think I can already go get it. 
but it would take time. But actually, before we... Wait, I don't think I can get rid of the whistle until I actually pick up the collar. Eh, whatever. We're gonna use it anyway. Let go, you dog. Thankfully, there's a green herb planter right there, so as long as we don't get killed, we can get a full heal for free. Whoa there. Down, boy. In fact, let's... Because we're not going to come back to this balcony ever. It's very out of the way. Come on, dog. Even with the new controls, it's still tough to aim properly at those things. So let's go ahead and use that again, because why not? Okay, yeah. Can't grab it. And... Yeah, even though the balcony is quite large, there's not much to be found on it. But we do need to... Okay, now we can discard it. So we get to discard it as we leave, which means we got to go back right away just to grab the collar. Yeah, part of why Jill's playthrough is so much easier than Chris's is the fact that she gets an extra two inventory slots. And the lockpick. Though, in fairness, one of the inventory slots does need to be taken up by the lighter if you want to be able to burn zombies, whereas Chris gets the lighter in his bonus slot, much like Jill gets the lockpick in hers. But just generally, Jill has an easier run. Though it's not to say Chris is without merit. He is a better marksman and therefore has a higher chance to score critical hits against zombies. Hey, buddy. Just passing you on the stairs. Hope you don't mind. Whoa, you doing okay? I think he's got a stomach ache. Anyway, here we are in the other safe room. This one will be important if we manage to get ourselves bit by yawn. Yeah, I don't want to use the typewriter. I just wanted to see if there was a file that we could read. Yeah, okay. Nothing we can grab in here by the look of things. But that's fine. We can put away our acid shells because this isn't the super hard survival mode where the things aren't linked. So I do believe... We're pretty okay. I wish I had more open slots, but such is life for now. We'll get to open a couple of them up before too long. Um, I think there's only like one or two more sword key doors, so we'll get to get rid of that key pretty soon. In fact, let's go around this corner and see whether or not any of the doors over here uses the sword key. This one's the lock pick, so this just has a chance of filling a slot, which isn't exactly what we want, but okay, we've got a battery. That is excellent. And was there something else here? Yeah, no. We don't need that. We would have needed that if we didn't want to have Barry rescue us, but it's easy enough to have Barry rescue us. We've already got the shotgun that we would have been able to get safely had we used that broken shotgun. Okay, that's an armor key door. We do not yet have said armor key. 
Excuse me, sir. Okay, um... There's two doors here, one of which does open from this side. Oh, hi. Helmet key, huh? Uh, sir, get off me. I really wish I didn't use that there, but that's okay. It is possible to change the controls so that you don't automatically use those, but I just kind of let it go. So now that we've opened that up, we can actually go right through here, meet our first crimson head. But we're going right by him, so it doesn't matter. He will get to take a swing at us on our way out, but hopefully he won't hit. He's generally a waste of ammo if you try and kill him, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, I don't want to find peace and death. I'm going to take this emblem, but then I'm going to just put another key right in its place. But it'll be a fake. So yeah, when I was talking about how I would like a replica of this mansion with non-lethal versions of the puzzles, this is one of those puzzles that definitely needs to be made non-lethal. Okay, is there anything past here? I think it's a helmet key door. Yeah. So let's just go ahead and make sure that, yep, that's the armor key, all right. We've already passed several armor key doors. I feel like the original game, there were only like one or two helmet key doors. It was a really underused key. Oh, the Crimson Head doesn't stick around to take a swipe at us. He must be hiding deeper in the hallway. Um, we are going to want to go through here, but I don't think we got to go too far. Oh, there he is. Um, excuse me, sir. Don't mind me. Right, that's a helmet key. Uh, armor key door was down here. And one of those doors up there just got opened by a zombie, hence the music cue and the... That's not the door we wanted. The, the music cue and also the sound of a door creaking. It's one of the only times in the game where a zombie actually opens a door. There we go. That's a door we couldn't open before. And now that we've got the armor key, we can actually start collecting death masks. And apparently we can also collect a battery. That is nice. Okay, so... Oh, this is quite the hallway, isn't it? Uh, let's go ahead all the way through. Those windows are, of course, going to break, as are all windows that zombies ever tap against, though that rake against the wall makes me think I needed the chemical for this particular room. Yes, yes I did. So we'll be back there before too long. Thankfully the zombies don't bust through until after you've claimed your prize. And once I can successfully navigate around this corner we can be in business. So what have we got in here? I don't particularly remember this room. Ah, it's this room, one of the only rooms with a bed in it. Closet door is stuck on something and won't budge. Wonder what that something is. This, this particular file is one of the most chilling in the entire series. I rather enjoy it. May 9th, 1998. 
played poker tonight with Scott and, and Elias from security. Elias? Elias? Let's go Elias. And Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. May 10th, 1998. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. May 11th, 1998. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up. Scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. May 12th, 1998. I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. May 13th. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. May 14th. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. May 16th. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? May 19th. Fever gone, but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. May 21st. Itchy, itchy Scott came, ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Four, slash, slash, itchy, tasty. Just the fact that he still had the presence of mind to write all that. As he was transforming. And we get a battery at the cost of only two bullets. A battery is more potent than two bullets, so... And that door is still stuck. And if the whole camera angle changing hadn't gotten me, I would have escaped before being grabbed, but oh well. Still getting used to these controls. Okay, so this door didn't require a key, just required hands, I guess. So now we find ourselves back in this particular hallway. Seems we missed a door. But that's fine, we can get there easily. Let that guy continue wandering our way, but thankfully zombies all return to their default position. Okay, camera, gonna have to work with me here. Okay, we do not yet have the gem required, or gems. Yeah, we need two gems for that. We've already gotten access to one. We just have to go back to the dining hall. But the yellow gem comes later. So, let's head on out to grab the chemical so that we can use it. Oh! Hello, sir. You're not where I expected you to be. You know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of him. And it looks like he is quite dead now, so... Just burned him because we are going to be going past there more. Plus, I had to burn a zombie sometime. Okay. 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 Chemical to use on plants. Because just chemical alone 
wasn't enough for most players, I guess. The fact that there's a pillar just right in the middle of that hallway seems like poor architecture to me, but what do I know? I'm not trained. Okay, so now we go through. Still got the shadow of the zombie there. I'm sure he'll bust through just as soon as we've got our prize from in this room. So, yep, lid's open. Let's pump the water just to make sure. Uh, we want to turn it red, I want to say. Yep, that is exactly where we want it to go. You can pump the water after putting the chemical in here. But it's important to make sure that you pump it the right direction. Because if you pump it the wrong direction, then those herbs we can see end up getting killed. And in fact, considering there's so many herbs, also there's this, which we are going to need. We're going to need all four of these buggers. But yeah, since there's herbs here, plenty of them, let's go ahead and use this, get our health back, and grab a new one. We will be coming back here if and only if we run out of healing. Because it's a nice source of a lot of herbs. But I don't expect we'll end up needing that many. And while that is a somewhat surprising trap right there if you don't expect it. I kind of expected it, and if you just keep running, it's no danger whatsoever. Okay. So this guy, he stays dead forever. He's just a uh, red herring. Actually, that might not be true. He might go Crimson Head at some point later on. Anyway, Mask can go here. We're grabbing the Ink Ribbon because it's time for this episode to end. So let's just go ahead and save. Hooray. And we are nearing the one hour point, so I'm almost certainly not going to be getting the infinite rocket launcher from this run. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Join us next time when we continue exploring the mansion. See you then, friends.